guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be having a look at the salaries that you can make as a teacher. As you should have probably seen from the thumbnail, this can vary massively, so in a second we're going to get into it and have a look at what you can make unqualified, qualified in England, Wales and moving all the way up to a head teacher. We're also going to be having a chat about the ways you can move up the salary bands. So obviously teachers always start at the lowest band and by the end of your career, depending on how far you want to progress, you will end up potentially even at the top. And as part of that, we'll be looking at where I am at the minute on my teaching journey and where you might end up. So give me a minute, I'm going to make myself some food and then we will get going. Okay, food has been eaten, coffee will be made in a few minutes, but for now, let's get into this. Today we're having a look at how much teachers get paid across the primary school. So we're going to start off with the unqualified teachers who have not yet passed the QTS course, but have got the chance to teach in a school. I'm going to move all the way up right to the top of a head teacher's pay and their salary once you reach the top of that scale. At the end, I will show you the salary that I'm currently on and I'll show you the ways that you can move up the bands. So starting right at the bottom of a classroom teacher all the way up to the top of the head teacher. If you are thinking of becoming a primary school teacher and think this is something that interests you, you want to find out a bit more, then up here there's a link to the day in the life of a primary school teacher and you can have a look at what kind of things that go on during one normal school day. If you start off as an unqualified teacher, you can expect to earn £17,682 as a minimum. This is if you've not passed any courses and you are unqualified. From there, you can move up six different bands in unqualified teaching, all the way up to £27,965. This is the maximum you will earn as an unqualified teacher. So if you're thinking of trying to get into a school without a qualification, then this will be what you are aiming for eventually. However, it is rare to find unqualified teachers in primary schools, and majority of them have passed a course with QTS, which gives you qualified teacher status, and you'll become a classroom teacher. Classroom teaching, your salary will start at £24,373. This is new for the 2019-2020 school year, and can potentially go up in the years ahead. Now, for the full range of roles in a primary school, the full salaries you can get up to will reach £114,060. This is the maximum salary you can earn as a head teacher. So you will be earning during your time in primary school somewhere between these two numbers. Now of course, it is rare to find someone right at the top of this scale, however as the scale is there it must be possible. Just an important thing to factor in here is that it is possible to earn different salaries from what I'm going to tell you. This is depending on your position in the country, so I'm focusing just on throughout England in this video. However, I know teachers in Wales will earn slightly different figures, teachers in Scotland definitely earn different figures, and if you live in inner London, outer London, or the fringes around London, then you will also earn a slightly higher amount. This is because obviously your living wages in London are higher, and so that is compensated for here. I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you want to check that link out, then that will show you the difference between teacher salaries inner and outside of London. So, as I said, classroom teachers start on a salary of £24,373. This is what you'll start on in your NQT year, which is when you're doing a year where you show that you can qualify as a teacher. After that, you can move all the way up six different bands in teaching. Of these six bands, the highest band is £35,971. Once you've hit that point, that's where you move on to what's called the upper pay scale. This is again another pay scale just to keep the scales going up and your salary will continue to increase as you go through this. The upper pay scale starts at £36,646 and moves on to £37,654. So this is a smaller scale but it's been put in for those teachers that have been classroom teachers for a long time without moving up into the leadership role. At this point I'd just like to mention that if you've been a classroom teacher for a while you may have taken on some extra responsibilities. This can give you some extra bonus pay, which I'll talk about now. You can earn what is called a TLR, or a Teaching and Learning Responsibility, where those teachers who are in charge of a large subject, such as English or Maths, 
can earn a TLR, which will be a bit of bonus salary to them for taking on the extra work. They're responsible for English or maths throughout the whole school and therefore have a lot of responsibility riding on them. This TLR payment can vary massively as the different responsibilities teachers take on can change hugely and it is up to the school and the governing body to decide what TLR to pay. So I'll just give you the range now. So the TLR or the Teaching, Learning and Responsibility Payment can range anywhere from £555 all the way up to £13,654. And as I said, this can vary massively from school to school. So if you're looking at getting a TLR anytime soon, then discuss it with your school on what that payment will be. I will go on after these facts and figures to talk a lot more about my salary and how to move up the pay scale. On that note, I think it is time for a coffee, so I'll be back in one second. Okay, let's get back into this. So the other way that teachers can often get a bit of extra pay when they are working in the primary school is through looking after the special educational needs children at the school. You get an extra payment for this as there's a lot more responsibility that comes with that role. And this payment can take the form of anywhere between £2,209 all the way up to £4,359. And again, all the extra payments, the TLRs, the SEM payments, all on top of the teacher's salary. So earlier on, we were talking about the classroom teacher payments. And this is the payments that you get for just being a classroom teacher without any extra added responsibility. If you're interested in this role and want to have a look at the timetable that a primary teacher will go through in a school day, then click this link up here and that will help you out with just understanding the ins and outs of a primary school day. Once you've reached the top of that primary school teacher pay scale, then you get up to what's called the Bleed Practitioner's Pay Scale. This is for those teachers that prove consistently they are producing outstanding teaching, outstanding results, and the children making the most progress in their class. This pay scale starts from £41,267 and goes all the way up to £62,735. As I said before, this of those teachers taking on extra responsibility may be helping coach the younger teachers in the school and that consistently produce outstanding teaching throughout the classroom. These teachers are often the teachers that also take on extra responsibility, such as doing some research into how their teaching or others' teaching is affecting the children and ways in which they can improve the primary school to make sure it is at the level it should be or even progressing beyond that. Alongside this lead practitioner pay scale is what's called the leadership pay scale, which are those teachers that are forming part of the senior leadership team at the school. This pay scale can vary massively. It's probably the biggest pay scale that you'll come across as a primary school teacher. It begins at £41,605 and will go all the way up to being a head teacher at £114,060. You can vary all the way along this pay scale and I'll go into the way you can move up this pay scale and all the rest of them at the end of this video. The final pay scale to talk about is the head teacher's pay scale. This is very similar to the leadership one but starts slightly higher. This one starts at £46,457 and goes all the way up to £114,060. So that is the teacher's pay scales that you can expect to earn as a primary school teacher. As I said, as an NQT in your first year of teaching, you'll start at the bottom of the qualified teacher pay scale and who knows where you might end up all the way up to £114,060 as the level one head teacher. So moving on to potentially the more important bit, this is how do you move up those pay scales? Now, as I was saying before, as an NQT, you'll start at the bottom of the qualified teacher pay scale and depending on your aspirations, you might want to go all the way up to the top of the head teacher's one. You might only want to get to the leadership role you might want to stay the classroom teacher for the rest of your career. That's entirely up to you, but you will want to progress and have your salary increase as a teacher. 
So the first way your salary will increase is through experience. As you are a primary school teacher, as you get more years of experience under your belt, you can expect your salary to increase. However, this is not automatic. As a classroom teacher, you'll get given targets by your school. Now I can't go into detail about these targets as they're completely individual to schools, to teachers, to head teachers. So you'll have to discuss with your head teacher in your progress meeting what these targets will be. However, these targets will be what you have to hit to get your pay rise. If your targets are met and your board of governors agrees and the head teacher agrees, then your salary will improve up to the next pay scale. Theoretically, if you hit all your targets every single year, your pay could rise every single year. This is also dependent on the amount of work that you put in at the primary school, as obviously those teachers that are getting up the pay scale are doing the research, doing the different leadership courses that you have to partake to receive the leadership pay. And so obviously, if you're not prepared to put in the work for these courses, then you will not be seeing your salary increase to that level. I'm currently on the M2 pay scale as I was an NQT last year and I'm now in my second year of teaching. And thankfully, I hit all my targets last year. And so my salary has increased up to the M2 pay scale this year. I have given a new set of targets in my progress meeting to try and hit to make sure that my salary can increase next year. If you enjoy this video, then please leave a like down below, leave a comment, and I'm really enjoying at the minute sharing the things I know about a primary school, but I'm also most enjoying listening to other teachers and what they have to say. So please check out my Instagram, check out my Twitter feed, get in touch if there's anything you'd like to know about being a primary school teacher. As always, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you've enjoyed this, and there'll be more teacher content coming out very soon in a week.